Hi guys, this is Pikachu, and I hope you noticed that rather shabby looking, well you couldn't really have not noticed it, the rather shabby looking intro that I put at the start of the video, I will be improving once I get someone who can actually make videos well at the, um, to make it for me, but that's going to be on all my videos in the future, and welcome to a new series I'm starting called Roblox Pro Guide to Play for Pro Places, and in this series I'm going to teach you how to play really well um, and pro tactics for these classic places that users request. Now, I haven't told anyone I'm starting this except briefly on my Twitter, so no one actually requested me because um, I decided I was going to do crossroads first. In these guys, I won't be teaching you actual skills and like sword fighting skills or anything, I'm going to teach you tactics on how to do well in these places because I'm not that good with any of the. I'm not that good with the rocket launcher, the sword. Or, time bomb or all of this, but I'm still really good at crossroads because I know all the tactics and how to use the places. Now the first thing I'm going to describe to you is are the areas that you should and shouldn't go in. In the middle, which is where I am now with the trampoline and the big tower in the middle, that's where everyone goes as soon as they start, that's where everyone mainly goes because they, like, it's easier to move around, it's easier to kill people, but it's also, also you have to remember, easier to get hits and easier to walk into someone else with a rocket launcher and so on. So if you think, if there's like this server, most servers like this, there's loads of guests and these guests are actually really terrible at this game. There's with one guy with 47 kills, everyone else has less than four. There's two people minus. There's, there's so many bad people on the server so I'm pretty happy to stay in the middle at, at the moment. If someone good comes and like me, I'm always scared of anyone good because I'm really I'm not bad at 1v1s, but most people are much better at aiming than me at this super as you can see here. Look, oh, look, it missed. So, you have to be careful. Obviously, if there's good people, I try and stick, or um, even if there isn't good people, because in the middle area, you tend to get shot by rocket launchers a lot. You can tend to just walk around and randomly, oh, look, there's a guy over there, there's a rocket launcher, and he just approach you, boom, you're dead. Or you turn around a corner and then you die. So I prefer to stay on that castle area at the top, unless I'm sure, as you can see here, look, I just find a rocket launcher there. There are other areas I will go into as I go into them, but go to as I go into them, yeah, I will tell you about once I explore them in the game, but now I'm going to explain to you the weapons. Now, what I'm using now is a sword, but Swords are really not that useful in the game. There's a lot of people who go, I am a sword master, I will play this game, or who can start moonwalking and go, I am really skilled. They can, if they get naked, they won't go. Sure, you can kill them really easily, but... Well, they can kill you really easily if they get next to you, but they're, re they're really, really... They never use any other weapons at all, and the sword is good for close range. If you swap to it quickly, and then it's really good because they're not expecting it, but otherwise you can't really walk around the sword, it's not long range or anything. Now the slingshot, I'll, ex I'll tell you about the slingshot when I'm actually using it, because I'm not at the moment, I don't think I use it for a while, but it's not a weapon you use most of the time. Now what I'm using mostly, you'll find, is a rocket launcher. Now lots of people will say, ah no, the rocket launcher is rubbish, it's got too slow, too blah blah blah, too blah blah. It's not that bad. Don't, first of all, don't be afraid of wasting it. It has a really... It has a long um, reload time, but it doesn't actually have, it doesn't make that much of a difference, it still reloads fairly quickly. So if you shoot it across someone on the map, by the time it's got there, and then you usually will have got it back or just have to wait a few seconds. Don't be afraid about shooting at people long way away, it has a really big range. You can't shoot from one corner of the map to the other, but you can shoot fairly quickly. And a second thing, on most games on crossroads, everyone is bad. As you can see here, just look at the scores of everyone else, they're bad. But still, when most people come on this game, they still don't get really good swords. Um, swords are really good scores because they don't know their tactics. They get blown up by these noobs and go, Oh my god, I got blown up by a guest and get annoyed. So this random guy came on and says hi, and I'm thinking, Oh, he might be good because he can actually speak. Most of the time, with the, when you're shooting a rocket at people, they won't move out of the way. Or if they're walking, if you shoot at them, it's obviously going to miss. If you shoot, anticipate where they're going to go. As you just saw there, I didn't... He was walking towards it, but as he heard the rocket launcher turn the other direction, that is actually unusual for people to turn as they're shooting a rocket. And there, I, as soon as you hear a rocket fairly near you, look around immediately for this rocket launcher. If you hear, think, oh, it's, it might hit me, it might go near me in a few seconds, 
and then I suggest looking around with your camera, right click and move around to see if you can see it. If it's anywhere near you, leg it, because rockets, as usual, have a surprisingly large explosion radius. You might be annoyed because they hit you. I got annoyed several times that they hit me and I didn't think when they thought they shouldn't. Uh, this guy that I'm trying to shoot now appears to be someone who's actually good at the game. He's got a super ball out. He almost hit me except to hit that brick. I'm trying to climb up here to escape him now. So that's all about the rocket launcher. While, while this is happening, I'll explain to you about 1v1s in this game. Now, if you're against someone else who's probably as good as you are or better, and then there's either two things. Either kill him or run. If you think you can kill him. Now there, this is a, a very good tactic for 1v1s. You run away, act like you're going to run away. And that, as I can see, he's probably not the best of all people. He wasn't that good, but he was better than everyone else, and he could have killed me. There, he ran, He was shooting me for a, a long time. I just ran away, pretending, oh, I'm not interested in anymore, let's go run away. Then I jumped down to the other side of the tower, and shot him with a rocket launcher when he just put a wall down. Now, he couldn't really escape from that, unless he jumped off, and he wasn't going to jump off because he didn't realise it was coming until too late, which is why I always say, look around for rocket launchers, you hear them anywhere close. And that's a sound break for robots, which it really often does. So, there's... A lot of a lot a lot of tricks for one v ones. I'll show you them. I'll explain them to do quickly when the I go up in a one v one against that guy again. I believe he starts stalking me and chasing me round and round for ages. Now, the next weapon is the wall. Now, the wall is the most least used weapon by everyone except the people who don't know what it does. It's really actually see there. I just put a time bomb down, try and jump away. It has to. It has a massive massive explosion radius time bomb. So I have. The, most people probably just walk to the corner and go, oh, it never hit me, but yeah, I have to jump off the edge, otherwise it definitely would have blown my head off or something. So I, I was at the wall. The wall is actually a really, really useful tool. As you can see there, I keep putting it down, jumping on it, and then jumping up to actually climb up walls. Now, not many people actually do that, but it is really useful. Most people use bomb jumps to do that, and I don't like using bomb jumps because I always blow myself up. You won't ever see me doing a bomb jump in this game unless I'm really desperate to get away from someone. And that guy says, crap, I'm failing. I'm going to explain to you this 1v1 again. I always use rocket launchers in 1v1, because it's if you're at close range, it hits a surprising large amount of time. But as soon as you lose your rocket launcher, you should use a slingshot. Now, he starts... Um, not a slingshot, I think He starts using a slingshot on me, which doesn't do a lot of damage from that range, but that is the perfect range to use it from. So I'm going to shoot the rocket launcher there, thinking that he might walk into it, or at least to stop him from coming around that corner, because I'm trying to get away from him as fast as I can, because it's all health. I just jump up there and try and shoot the super ball at him, because I'm trying to hide under this... Um, random thing, and see, he shoots a rocket launcher, I had no idea how it hit me, I think I even say, how does it hit me? It might have not have even been him that shot the rocket launcher, but in any case, you should really, really be careful how big a uh, rocket launcher's explosion radius. Nowhere near as big as, say, a time bomb, but they are really weird. I don't think he even knows. He says, IDK, it might not have even been you, or me even. So I'm just walk around on this area, which I'm going to explain now. This area is a very good area because that's a healing pad, but it's not a very enclosed area. So if a pro is chasing you, you might not want. I when a pro chasing you, I usually go to the castle. If you go there, there is a healer there. Sure, that's useful. But as you can see, I try not to spate his movement with a rocket, but miss. If there is a he there's a healer there, so I go. Yeah, I can heal. I never try and I try and avoid the healers as much as possible because see, I just go from there. He walks straight into the rocket launcher. If there's a healer. You might have accidentally walked into another healer at some point or something, and if you walk into two different healers at once, so if you healed at one healer and then you go to another healy thingy, and then you die. You just walk into it to die. The, heal the healy thingies, if you don't know, look like floating starry thingies. I'll go near one later. Oh, there's a lag spike there. Um, if you go into that area up there and run away from see that was you. I think I just fired the Super Bowl, and it bounced off and hit me. There's another important point to make about these areas. If you're in a place like where I am now, there's another place in that area which I was just talking about, next to the Healy thingy. I really, really, really would suggest running away from them. They're so easy to get hit by rocket launchers, and you might, may have wondered why I put that down there, that time bomb down there, but in fact, I only put it down in case the guest might have walked into it under the floor, which can happen. So I started to set an alt tab there, so I wasn't going to be able to explain, but see there, I'm just going to find my real contract up there. I was going to explain about that area over there, but I walked out of it. That basically, if 
I'm afraid that someone might come and kill me. I go up here and just snipe with a rocket launcher because it hits a surprisingly large amount of times. If you're high up, it doesn't do any extra damage or anything, but people generally don't look up when you're firing a rocket launcher at them. So if you're in that building up there, uh, if you're in a building down there even, and someone fires a rocket launcher at you, you're not going to look up. Generally, people don't look up. See, that, the guy over there holding the time bomb using slingshots, the person in the white, I keep trying to kill but missing. I'm trying to own him a lot. There's one key thing I keep, I've forgotten to say about the rocket launcher, in fact. Never, ever, ever walk forward while, or jump forward or do anything while moving forward in a direction that you're facing with a rocket launcher. Now, I, if you walk forward while you while holding a rocket launcher, if you walk forward while holding a rocket launcher, you die. It'll blow up in your face. Now, there, I was, I was going to explain to you a very important tactic for 1v1s there. He came around the corner. I used a wall on the floor, and then I shook a rocket launcher. So he didn't think a rocket launcher was going to come. But if... If he hadn't have dodged that rocket launcher, that definitely would have killed him, obviously, but it, when I came up to him, I was slowly, slowly, because I was sure I could kill him close up, because sometimes I try and get away from people, you'll see me using getting away from people tactics later in this video. Uh, this video continues until 30 kills, so I'll, <clears throat> I'll stop it there, but if you're running to see it here, I'm trying to get away from this guy and just shoot him once with that lucky shot, kill him once. I try it, if you're sure that you can kill him, you think, right, well, about even skill, but I can kill him close up with a sword or something, because it's also the most damage at close range. If you gradually try and get closer, as I was there, so you walk around the corner, I was just walking towards him, put a rocket, put a wall there in case he fired a rocket, which he could have possibly blown himself up on if he'd have walked through there and shot at the wall that I put down. I was slowly getting close, and as soon as I fired at the Super Bowl or rocket launch him, I immediately, really, really, really quickly switched to a sword. Now, he really wasn't expecting that. He really was not expecting me to switch suddenly to a sword. Now, the, so he was like, oh, right, he's used a sword. Now, straight after I used a sword, he used a sword, but he wasn't ready in his sword position to actually use the sword. Now, I better, so that killed him fairly easily. I better explain right now, so I'll just jump, I just jumped and used the Super Bowl. I better explain right now about trying to kill guests. Now guests, they're very easy to kill, as you see there, they just die instantly, they get anything, but you, if they're holding a weapon other than a sword, or a super, or a super ball, or a rocket launch, if that, no, what am I talking about? If they're holding any weapon other than a rocket launch or super ball, go approach them, do anything you can, just kill them. If they're holding a rocket launcher, always wait until they fired before approaching them, otherwise you'll die. They will just fire, not caring about that, that'll blow themselves up as well. They'll just die anyway. So that's a very big tip to, about fighting guests. Now this is the end of the video. This is the final 1v1 which I do lose. Like, it'll be my second death and that's when I end the video. He fires rockets at me. I try my same old tactic, firing, firing a rocket launcher. I try and approach him with a sword, but he gets out and spins around and I completely miss. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.